Hi and what's up? In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make fish burger and it's going to be easy and very simple. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. So I have my fillet over here. I'm using Nile patch fillet and I have some coriander, onions, two buns or more. I have more <laughs> and some toppings, breadcrumbs, one egg. Yeah, and lemon. So that is all I'm going to be using and you'll find everything listed in the description box down below. Yeah, so if you enjoy watching my videos, don't don't forget to give my videos a like. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. So I have a mini processor over here. I'm going to add my fillet into the mini processor. So it is a small recipe for about two to four people. Once done, I'm going to place my mini processor and then I'm going to pulse. So I don't want the fish fillet to be very fine. I want it to have, I want the fish to have chunks in it. So I'm just going to pulse. Once done pulsing, I'm going to place my fish in a big bowl. Just like that. So to my bowl, I'm going to add in coriander and then I'm going to add in onion, crack one egg, add in salt, pepper. And then I'm going to add in some breadcrumbs. Then I'm going to squeeze in juice of half a lemon. So don't skip on the egg and breadcrumbs because it's going to help the fish to bind together so that it doesn't fall apart. Once my fish is fully combined, I'm going to be using half a cup because I want equal parties. So I'm going to fill my half a cup and then I'm going to be using the palm of my hands to shape the fish patty into a round shape. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the rest. So this is how my fish patties are looking and I'm happy because I have four, four patties four fish parties and uh, so everyone is going to enjoy a burger and it's going to be delicious so the next step is to move over to the stove top and on medium heat i'm going i've placed a pan i'm going to add cooking oil i'm using a non-stick pan but also you can use a cast iron i'm going to make sure I add about two to three tablespoons of cooking oil. Then I'm going to put my spatula. Once my oil is hot, I'm going to pick my fish patties and carefully place in the pan. So I'm going to be making two fish patties at a time. I don't want to overcrowd my pan because once you overcrowd the pan, the temperature of the oil is going to drop and hence you're going to have soggy fish patties and the patties won't be crispy enough so i'm going to cook my fish patties for two to three minutes on each side so while my fish is frying i'm going to be making my tartar sauce so in a small bowl i'm going to add in mayonnaise
then I'm going to add in coriander squeeze half a lemon check on my fish flip yum so I'm going to give the other side two to three minutes then I'm going to check on my tasha sauce and stir until everything is combined if you have dill you can add that as well in the tartar sauce so after about two to three minutes this is how my patties are looking and I love the gorgeous golden brown color on top so I'm going to place my fish patties in a paper towel to drain excess oil then I'm going to be adding my next round of fish patties then I'll fry for about two to three minutes flip and I'll be done So the next round of my fish patties is ready. I'm going to transfer this to a paper towel. And it smells amazing in the kitchen. Use the same pan to toast my buns. So I'm going to toast my buns for around one minute when you notice the golden brown color you're going to take the buns out of the pan check on my buns so that is the color i'm going for <laughs> so i'm going to transfer my buns to plates turn off the heat so to assemble my fish Burger. I'm going to add in some of that delicious tartar sauce. Next, I'm going to place some lettuce. Tomato. Onion rings. my fish patty then i'm going to spread some more tartar sauce on my top bun lastly i'm going to add some cucumber on top You can assemble your fish burger just the way you like it. I like it. I like mine this way. So this is going to be very juicy and the patty is still warm. Once you have a bite, everything is going to come together in your mouth. And the flavor and the juiciness of the fish is going to be just so delicious. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you try out this recipe. Make for yourself this amazing fish burger. Catch you on my next one. Bye.